play style from Ganondorf translates over really well in the cloud. He's got reads yeah. for days. Our cloud's out in front right now. Yeah, and he's got punished game on yeah. deck. And Ganondorf's actually got like, you do two up airs and you get a 50-50. Cloud goes up air until he gets hit. Like, uh-oh. There's got frame traps in similar places, just Cloud has more of them, better ones. Yeah, and because Cloud. Yeah, but speaking of frame traps, Snoofle capitalizing on all those frame traps right there to get a nice bit of percent lead. Oh, nice. Wall jump into snap slash hitbox up B. Cloud knowledge. Oh, <laughs> he just kind of sat there and took that dare. I mean, in hindsight, it's really not that harmful because you're at 20%. It's kind of like when, you when get, it auto cancels, he gets combos. I wouldn't say that. Well, here's the thing. In certain situations like that, oh, okay, Rickles, I see you. In certain situations like that, I think Snoofle's mindset is he just wasn't paying attention, but it didn't really matter. It's just like... It's just like getting uh, just grabbed at low percent, where just sometimes it's just better to take a grab. But can we talk about the confidence from Snoofle? Rickles went oh, yeah. for that hard read on, he went for hard read on side B. Snoofle side B the next three times onto stage, and then immediately just smack him with a backer. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, Snoofle's really confident with his buttons, but Rickles is just as confident. And oh, okay, nice di in. Did not take the spike. Well, he took it grab. just on stage. Okay. Snaps. A little snap. Not opting to get hit by the uh, downer this time. Snoofle kind of hanging by ledge. I really wouldn't be in that position because... Oh, okay. Tech chase. Ooh. There we go. And this time he caught the wall jump. And he has no jump, so he's going to have to burn limit to get back. And he kind of moved right next to the ledge. That was unsafe, but it was also fast. And... Oh, just barely mistimed. If he was a little bit earlier on that down smash, that Good would have been lights out. Good sweet spot, avoids the ledge trump, and Snoop is sitting on a huge lead now. Oh, no? I'm surprised, yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see up smash out of shield. Probably looking for down smash or something. Good tech. We got techs. Fox made an odd attack. Down air? Down air. <laughs> When you're going straight up like that, there is not a whole lot that Fox can do other than pray especially, that they miss the down air. <laughs> especially when Cloud's grabbing onto ledge and it's against a Fox, you know it's you know it's coming. Yep. And now Rickles has limit back, so he's one combo away from evening this up. Now. Lost his limit, and that means his recovery is a little bit more linear here. Yep, and that's gonna close and it out. No sweet spot, but that far away horizontally, he might have had to drift. I don't know. He probably had the option to drift, but I think Snoofle kind of adjusted himself on ledge to cover for that. Yeah, you yeah. gotta maybe drift a little bit before the up B. He was, he was very close. And Rickles, is he going to stay cloud? Or yeah, tearing off. <laughs> usually, uh, usually uh, Rickles starts off on Ganon and then goes to cloud. It's really never the other way around. Okay. No, I, which makes sense. That when you lose a match, you think I'm gonna drop a bunch of tears. That's, uh oh. Oh, ooh, that it's a works. I see hey. you, Rickles. Oh my God, Rickles. <laughs> see, this is the scary part of Rickles, where he just starts doing these crazy Forward. things and goes, goes ham. And Snoofle is also in that camp too, with all these drag down forward air setups. Yeah, didn't get much off the lock, but he got the lock. That puts the fear into here. Regardless. There we go. Tries for the tech chase. Wanted just a roll in, but not going to get it. Oh, catches the jump. Now Cloud doesn't have a jump, but it's okay. He makes his way down with a big old sword. Once again on the tech, he's going to have to waste limit to get back. Fox players are very good at teching. They've lived with it the whole... Yeah. It's the character they play. Yep. Nice persistence from Snoofle, not giving up on that side B option, even though it was Rickles trying to just get him to force recover low. Oh, forward tilt before Snoofle could get a hit. And again, Rickles is just trying to go for it, but Snoofle doing a really good job of just mixing stuff off off stage with Shine to not let Rickles get too much of an advantage. Oh, the that's what he wanted last game. Anyway. There we go. Yeah, he's got it. He's got his spaces now. Snoofle came from the side and clips the down air. Very nice awareness of hitboxes. And he goes oh, into no throw. Jump. Did he take the jump? No jump. He took the jump. That was a little dirty, but... Very yeah. smooth. You know, Snoofle, he's been cleaning up his box recently, so it's been looking pretty good. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not surprised. It was, yeah. That was really solid play.